Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thank you for watching and welcome to my house. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix something that is super, super annoying in my PDI, but actually I think it applies to any instance. And that is this thing right there. Have you seen this section session expired? Your login session has expired. Please log in again. If you have seen this, don't worry. Don't fret. I have a fix for you. It's not as bad as it seems. And there's a setting in the service now that can help you fix this. I actually have it up on the screen here. Um, it just went away. I don't know if it logged me back in or not. Let's actually try it. But what you're looking for is glide UI session underscore timeout. So let's see, how do we get there? If you go to sys underscore properties dot list, this is the system properties. If you're an admin, this would be a pretty familiar place to go. I am in a PDI that is fresh um, from Vancouver. So this is how the setting is set by default. If we go to, oh shoot, I already forgot, glide.ui.session is actually probably the easiest way to get there. And you'll see there's two, there are two properties you can configure. The glide session underscore time left and glide UI session underscore timeout. There they are right there. I was looking for my highlighter so I could show them to you. And by default, it's set to timeout after 90 uh, minutes. So I have to actually look here, 90 minutes. And um, it's basically default to that, which is probably good if you're like production and you have users and you don't want sessions sitting there, staying there forever. But for your PDI, that's a little bit fast, right? You're moving between documentation and answering a phone call or a Teams call from somebody. And uh, so what you can do is you can bump this up to 1,440 and that will you know, save any hair that you have left on your head so you're not pulling it out. Um, again, I'm in non-production in my PDI. You want to consider different things for production, different user habits and different security standards. But for me and for, I imagine, a lot of people out there that are just trying to learn and uh, test things out in their PDI or sub-production, go ahead and bump this system property up because you are going to authenticate. You're going to provide your username, your password. If you set up MFA, you're going to provide the, the multi-factor for authentication. And having a longer timeout just means less logging in for you. So um, I had to go find this because it seemed really aggressive in uh, Vancouver. I don't know if that's true or not, but I, once I bumped it to 1440, I was happy again and I wasn't logging in all the time into my PDI. So keeping it short for you this time, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody who you think might be interested or who is sick of logging in over and over and over again in their PDI or sub-production. And until next time, don't forget to always be learning.